Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and power forever and ever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving his wife, <clears throat> but no child, his brother must take a, the wife and raise up the descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise, all seven died chi childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven have been married to her. Jesus said to them, the children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. But the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and he is not of the dead but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, the Sadducees are at it again. They are playing their favorite game of let's trap the Messiah. Their question was about gathering evidence against Jesus so they could build a case and ultimately put him to death. He was challenging their way of life and they did not want to change or give up any of the power that they had. A memory device that they taught us in the seminary was that the Sadducees were sad you see because they don't believe in the resurrection. They thought that they only had this life, and that was it, and that they just had the laws. That was all that they thought they had. And you see in the book of Ecclesiastes, the logical conclusion, if this life is everything, that vanity of vanities, all is vanity, for we will all die in the end and go to Sheol, which, for the ancient Jew, was a physical place under the earth where the dead dwelt. With their question, the Sadducees were hoping that Jesus was a simpleton. How they were wrong. Because an affirmation that the woman would belong to many meant absurdity to the Sadducees. For how could her husbands be able to divide a wife in heaven? Yet on the other side of the, that same coin, if she only belonged to one man in heaven, then Jesus would have been denying marriage on earth that he would have been saying that marriage to the previous or latter brothers, depending on which one you were looking at, uh, that they didn't exist, that there was really only one marriage that happened. Yet, on the other, other side of the coin, a denial of the resurrection by Jesus would have meant that he was backing down from what he was preaching. They would have asked where this resurrection was that he had been talking about all this time in Judea. And the point their point would have been that a prophet would not go back on his word. 
But what does this mean for us after the resurrection? Marriage is only after all, till death do them part. I mean, the love between a husband and a wife goes on, but the vows are only good up until death, which breaks the bond of matrimony. In heaven, we will be like Jesus and the angels. We will not need to be married. Nuns and brothers and priests all make either vows or promises of celibacy, and these look forward to heaven, where we will be neither given nor taken in marriage. For there is no need of marriage in heaven when we are completely united to God. And don't get me wrong, I am convinced that those whom we share love with on this earth are the ones that we will be closest to in heaven, those like family and those like true friends. But it'll be different from marriage. Earthly marriage means that a man and a woman belong to each other and need each other's help to reach salvation. In heaven, we will have that same strength of a spiritual connection with everyone else, and the blessed already enjoy gazing upon the face of God. So that bond takes on a different role. When another soul enters heaven, all of heaven rejoices because there's another soul to join the party. There is someone else who will be happy forever and whose life will forever stand as a testament to how good God is. For heaven is not just some better version of this life. Don't expect gold and jewels and fountains or whatever else might make you happy. That would be boring and kind of a letdown if it was just the same thing as we've been experiencing here and now. Expect a life in the fullest sense of the word. Our God is the God of the living, of those who have the true love of charity burning within their hearts. And the love of heaven is something to look forward to. It will be different yet familiar, for even our best and most enjoyable moments here on earth pale in comparison with the joys that await in heaven. And it is for sure that heaven will exceed and surpass in every way the way we love in this earthly life. And the love of God will fulfill all the desires of the hearts of his faithful, making them completely happy and completely at peace. And just uh, a little, couple little announcements. Um, one is you have these little envelopes, they're for, to support the military archdiocese. They, the military does not support the archdiocese to train seminarians, so they rely completely upon collections to, uh, to train priests and to supply our troops with, um, with priests that they need. Uh, so be generous with that. And also, if we could have all the veterans please stand and I'll offer a special blessing for you. Almighty God, we ask you to pour forth your blessing upon these veterans. We thank you for the service that they have given for our country in protecting us. We ask you now to protect them and to guide them into heaven. And we ask all this in Christ's name, amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.